Uh, you, you, can, you can say it this time. All right, you, sh you sure? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Good morning, ESM. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Uh, <laughs> as you can tell, or if you remember, we're wearing the same outfits because it is still the day we recorded the last show. Yeah, it's still Monday because mm -hmm. um, we're virtual now, so that's cool. Yep. Uh, um, I mean, John, have you ever volunteered? Volunteered? I have. Have you? Uh, yeah, I have, and that's yeah. what this show is about after is. news. The ESM DECA chapter is offering you the opportunity to leave your mark permanently on the high school grounds. As part of DECA's 2020-21 Community Service Project, we would like to offer you the chance to honor others or show your support of ESM by purchasing a commemorative brick that will be placed in the walkway outside the ESM Central High School Hall of Fame entrance. The proceeds generated from the sale of the commemorative bricks will support the mission of CARA Fund. The bricks will be sold beginning December 19th through January 18th. And uh, this is just an example of what the bricks would look like. And then you have the option with the purchase of your brick to buy a little, uh, little one of these. It's just kind of a, like paperweight, just so you remember that you uh, have that brick there. Um, you have two options on purchasing the commemorative bricks. Um, you can visit foreverbricks.com slash donors slash ESM. And again, that's four, like the number four. Um, not spelled out like that number, um, everbricks.com slash donors slash ESM. Also, you can visit the ESM district website and there will be a link to download the order form. And the completed order forms could be mailed to the high school or emailed to esmbricksales21 at gmail.com. That's esmbricksales21 at gmail.com. For more information about the commemorative bricks, you can visit the district website. Thank you for your support of this great project and the opportunity to leave your mark permanently at ESM. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So let's just get into <laughs> talking about volunteering. All right. All right. So, like I said, we're talking about volunteering and ways you can give back to your community. Well, for starters, there is this whole website called Volunteer CNY. It's pretty cool. A lot of information about volunteering. Some other things you can do is give blood, which is actually happening here Friday the 29th from 10 to 4 in the Hall of Fame. Uh, the, uh, in other places, like the Erie Canal Museum is always looking for volunteers. And there's always the Salvation Army. Right. Um, so, Luke, now that we've mentioned some places that you can go to volunteer, uh, where have you volunteered? Um, I go to a little church program to get my confirmation and stuff like that, nice. and we have to do a lot of volunteer work there. Uh, I've done, like, helped at soup kitchens, stuff like that. Uh, we did a little, there's like, every year there's like a breakfast with Santa, except for this year because of COVID, and right. you, we usually help out there. Uh, what about you, John? Um, well, I was in this leader program, leaders program at the YMCA, and we did a lot of volunteering and community work there. Um, we did a veteran dinner. That was like one of the coolest things I remember. We got to hear all the stories and, you know, they got food. It was super cool. Um, done a bunch of other stuff, uh, soup kitchens, things like that. Yeah. Um, right. Like community cleanup projects, like cleaning up garbage and things like that. Um, so yeah. All right. cool. Something cool you've actually done in your life. Wow. Uh, all right, now let's get on to uh, weather because we can actually do that. For weather this week, it's going to be a bit warmer than it normally is. We have some lows in the mid-30s Monday through Wednesday. Going into Thursday, we warm up into the 40s. And hopefully on Friday, we get the white Christmas we all want. Let's hope. And Saturday and Sunday, we dip down a little bit, and it starts to get a little bit warmer on Sunday. And I'm Elena with your weather. So like we said, it's important to volunteer as much as you can, especially during the holidays. And to help us explain the importance of volunteering, we asked DECA member Sophia Conzone to come talk. Community service is so important because it allows us to be an active member within our community and make an impact. Giving up some of your time to help and contribute to something larger than yourself helps you develop a sense of empathy and interpersonal skills. There are numerous opportunities to get involved through our school, especially through the DECA chapter and honor societies. Every year, DECA members put on charity events to raise money for numerous causes. 
Over the years, comedy shows, charity sports games, and even fashion shows have allowed us to volunteer and donate money to organizations such as the Care Fund, Make-A-Wish, and the Caroline Baldwin Foundation. Community service doesn't have to be physical help, and oftentimes lending your hand to help others is even more impactful. Whether it be through donating blood in an honor society blood drive or helping at your local fundraiser, community service ultimately helps everyone. Sophia, thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. And, uh, uh, well, now we'll get to sports, I guess. With, sports, with us. Also with us. Again. My yeah. Chromebook just died again. My Chromebook died. All right. So, we're doing uh, predicting sports. Um, but also real news, because this real just news, happened. Because Syracuse basketball, uh, the men's game that was supposed to happen on Tuesday against Notre Dame, has been canceled because a team, a team member from Buffalo uh, tested positive for the virus. Um, and obviously, Syracuse played them. So, we're, uh, they canceled Tuesday's, Tuesday's game. All right, and now on to the not real sports news, the but rather the news. predictions, because this is supposed to be Tuesdays. And the Steelers won. Okay, what's your what's your <laughs> prediction? Yeah, the Steelers uh, won. The, score. The Steelers scored um, ninety-seven points um, over the Bengals, and um, Ben Roethlisberger threw for three hundred yards, and uh, Le'Veon Bell rejoined the Steelers, ran for four hundred yards, and uh, that's how we won. Okay, uh, my prediction is that uh, Bengals get the upset, uh, and uh, Steelers are now on a three-game losing streak. Wow. Wow, it's so crazy. It's, the mo it's like they're uh, the most overrated team in the league, Listen, one could say. Listen, we clinched the playoffs, so I'm not worried about the regular season anymore. Yeah, right? be worried about the playoffs when the Chiefs come. Right, we're, we're, I'm not worried about the Chiefs. The Chiefs or the are, Titans. The Chiefs are pushovers. Are you kidding me? Let's just wrap we'll this up. This is overrated. Mm, all right. Uh, Ratchet Sports <laughs> is over. Let's just get, let's get this over with. Good God. Yeah, his computer died, so we're going to look at ours now. Well, with that in mind, try and get out there and help out your community in every way you can. Uh, even if that means just picking up garbage around the town or on the side of the road with your friends. Well, that's about it from us today. Uh, Monday, or I mean Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, uh, so for me. Me. And everybody else here at the morning show, have a great day. And happy holidays.
rest of us, for the rest of us, and a happy new year. We all like some cake and candy, we all like some cake and candy, we all like some cake and candy, so bring it right here. We won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get some, we won't go until we get some, with a smile of good cheer. First, first. We wish you a happy